All right, hi YouTube. Uh, Tishon here again. Uh, okay. First things first. I am no longer a marine girlfriend, fiance, soon to be wife. None of that. I'm not connected to Marine Corps anymore than I am. Anyway, um, me and my boyfriend we did break up almost three weeks ago. Or ex boyfriend. I don't know why I keep calling him my boyfriend. Three weeks ago. Uh, it was. Not really something I want to get over to on Facebook, but hey, I'm I'm doing pretty well, guys. I'm not about to cry or anything or sad about it. It I think it was time. It was the right time, and he'll find somebody. You know, I don't. I didn't know who I was. Who I was with him. All I know is that I should that song lyrics. I just wanted to throw that out there. I was listening to that early today, and it spoke to me about my relationship. And I was like, I didn't know how I was going to get through it when we broke up. I didn't know what I was going to do, how I was going to feel, how we were going to move past that, if we were to still be friends, if we weren't. And I got to admit, I was pretty broke up about the whole thing from the jump. I was, But when I heard that song, I was like, yeah, he's going to find somebody better, and I'm going to find somebody better. And if we somehow are way finding our way back to each other then hey thanks because like I, I mean i wanted to marry this person i was in i'm in love with this person i don't think i'm ever going to fall out of love with them i love him i'm in love with him he still means a lot to me he's just not, i we can't be together i refuse to be with him right now i want him to change i want, I want things to be more about us and not so much about us separately not so much about him and me as ones, but together, collectively. We both matter. It's both of us in this relationship. We both have to put in forth the effort. It can't always be about him, and it can't always be about me. And that's what I feel like it turned into. It was never us anymore. It just stopped being about us, and it started to be about what needed to be done versus what we could do. So, we broke up. Um... The f these last couple of days have been by far the easiest since we've been broke up for me. I smell more. I get complimented on how well I'm dealing with the situation. Not too many people know that we're broken up. And his mom, I don't think she really believes that we're broken up. But I mean, not too many people know we're broken up. So it's pretty tight circle. Uh, we did in our relationship on Facebook and everything. So if people didn't know, now they, they really should. But... It didn't, like, pop up. Like, it wasn't something that would in everybody's news feed. And after we broke up, he added my mom as his mother-in-law and my twin sister as his sister-in-law. So it was a little like, whoa, why are you doing that? Me and you aren't together anymore. You don't even speak to me. So why would you add my family as your family? But, hey, we're, I guess we're okay like that. We're, we're tight. We're tight like that. Uh, so I went back to my original last name. But it's bad because all my passwords for everything have something to do with him. And I can't change them all because they're passwords that you can only set once at certain periods of time. Like on Facebook, I can change that one. But I had already changed it five times before I even changed it to him. And it took me a year to even do all of that. Which it was my boyfriend who wasn't my boyfriend for over a year before I changed my password, my Facebook password from his name to my current one well, of my ex-boyfriend's last name or name so it's it's been pretty rocky in our situation but if god allows or by some strange burst of power we in a few years get married settle down and have kids which be a shock because he doesn't want kids and i want five then maybe I'd get on here and apologize for everybody it's, it's for lying and saying we weren't getting back together. Uh, do I think that's going to happen? No. I think we're going to go our separate ways, and in a couple of years this will all be a distant memory. And hopefully I'm happily graduating from college and engaged because I'm going to have my first kid the second I get out of college. I mean, I want to find a job and everything, but I know I'm going to have a kid right after so I can continue on in law school with my first kid being by my side. I think that'd just be the icing on the cake. Um, 
ladies, never, never, never think that you have to change to be with the Marine. Because you really don't. I think you're going to change with age anyway. And everything is going to work out for you the way it's supposed to work out. I don't think you should fight harder for something that you don't need to fight that hard for. I don't think a relationship should be a fight. I think it should... It's going to be work, yeah, but I don't think it should be, like, a job. It's not a career. It's not something you have to work at every day. It's something you want or you don't want. Simple as that. If you want it, then, hey, the bad days will just be the bad days, and the good days will be the good days. But don't let the bad days outweigh the good. Don't let too many days go by and you're still wondering, how could you possibly still be with this person? Don't take things so literal. Don't make an argument that don't really need to be made. If you feel a certain way, uh, I'm a true believer in speaking your mind. You say what you got to say. Just be respectful about it. And don't say some things out of anger that you wouldn't say at any given any other time. Because then it makes you look like you've always wanted to say that. Anyway, super five still, ladies. Yeah, I'm, that's probably the last time you're going to hear me say that unless we somehow get back together. Which, like I said, we're not. But I love Facebook. I love you, YouTube. And all you other Marine girlfriends and fiancés and wives out there. I uh, hope you all make it to your Marine that last day. So you're walking down that aisle and having your first kid. You know, all the whole mouth. Uh, love you guys. Bye.